Good evening. It's Saturday evening and I've been busy in here today. As you can see, I've just got this box to take down and put in the recycle bin. All those trays are now empty. I've picked all that train stuff up and put in that bag for now. Uh, it's just a few random bits to pick up. Uh, and a wheel there to go and put in the outside cupboard. And a few bits to clean off of here, but at least the floor's clear and I can walk up and down in here now. Um, well, I could originally, but uh, tripping over things. I don't know where I'm going to put this box yet. That's full of um, cable outers. <laughs> well, I suppose I could leave it where it is for now, as it's uh, going to be required soon. I'm just going to put the light on. Here we go. Every last shelf is, well, apart from those three items on this end, is all bicycle parts. And actually, I'll correct myself again. Apart from these three items here, and this top black box, everything in here is bicycle part related. Oh, yeah. And the lights. So, the lights, the box, and those three items up the top there. Yeah, I suppose the saws as well, although I do use the hacksaws. Well, I've got a rusty bolt that I can't undo. And the grease gun, I only use that when working on bikes, so... Uh, those things, when I can find a long screw, I'm going to stick a long screw up there or maybe two, and hang these uh, chain guards up there. There's loads of various different sizes up there for different size chain rings. But uh, we've definitely got somewhere. I have emptied one of these black boxes as well. You can just about see the outline of over there. Um, it's full of... Uh, head stem stuff, headset stuff, so I've sorted it out into the trays and this instead of getting rid of it, so it's all in one place and all sorted now. All I've got there is um, bottom bracket axles, which I think is in the bottom one, and then the next one up, that's better, and the next one up I think is bottom bracket, the um, cups and whatnot, then it's just tools and that box sockets and things oops nearly turned you off and not turned the LEDs off <laughs> yeah so that's sorted I've just got to find a home for these cordless drills uh, I'm tackle this bedroom perhaps Monday or whenever got some eBay stuff piled up there in fact, those pillows can be put back in the air, air and cupboard. I don't need those. And then that box can be moved. But this is just a box of assorted bits, really. Some of these bells I might throw. That one looks tatty, but it does work better than the rest. I mean... As I said, if you're going to put a bell on your bike, don't get these ones. <laughs> Aren't you, I only see one place in town that so Look at that. The actual dinger is twisted on this one. It's not meant to be that way around. It still works, but... <laughs> see, they're just not loud. If I went and twanged the one I've got on my uh, Claude Butler hybrid and Claudia, you'd notice the <laughs> notice the difference uh, quite a lot, or even one of those. Right, I've got a box of assorted bits on there as well, but uh, mostly I just want to get this lounge sorted so I could uh, get that muddy fox in here and uh, start working on that. 
I've got a bag of bits there to go down to the shed, but I can't get in the... Well, I can get in the shed, but I'm not going to fuck around opening the shed door just to put a bag of bits in there. So, that might I might put that out on the landing or somewhere, and that can go down <coughs> later. Maybe, uh, you know, if I have to go and get something out of the shed, which... I actually have to to do this Muddy Fox, so I may save that till Monday. I was going to have to wait till Monday, I've just realised. Because uh, I'll be out tomorrow, it's Sunday. Oh, this is what I forgot to show you yesterday. Roy's has had a bit of a clean out, Roy's department store. Um, got a couple of these for one ninety nine each. These are actually relatively good LEDs. Um, has it got the name on it? Yeah, it's got Dito. Uh, but Dito, I presume I'm pronouncing that right. D Y T O. Um, they still produce cycle parts, but they've changed all the packaging now, and for some reason, Roy's has up the price. I mean, this originally was three ninety nine according to the price sticker on here. And the one on the back, I don't know if that's gonna show. Uh but the what the identical ones of these in the new style packaging, the blue style, blue and sort of a grey white style packaging. For some reason they're now four ninety nine. So just because they've changed the print on the packaging they've put them up an extra pound or so. But they're exactly the same fucking light. Um, I've already put one on Claudia. Because the one I had one of these on there because it was... Well, it was relatively old. Because I've made these style for years. Um, but for some reason they've been going up and up in price over the years. I remember when Roy's first started selling these. They were actually two ninety nine for a light. But get this, they're four ninety nine each, or five ninety nine for a set. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? I've heard of making a profit, but that takes the piss. I mean, it's not going to cost them any more to manufacture the lights because they're the exact same lights they've just put two in a packet and selling them as a pair as a set and you just spend that extra pound or you can buy a single one for 4 99 but you got less packaging as well because you're only buying the one fucking light <laughs> you know I don't know what is with Roy's it used to be a good store where you could get various tools and things at a reasonable price and clothes but ever since I think it was two years ago now they did their complete refurbishment of the store or well, they actually closed it down I think for about a month or two months to do it the prices have just gone through the fucking roof there now they don't even have a huge selection of stuff. I think their biggest store, or stores, is in Wroxham. Because it's actually called Roy's of Wroxham. Because that's where the store originated from. By a family with that same name many, 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 many years ago. I think it was somewhere in the... I actually can't remember. It was in the 1900s somewhere. They first opened... I could probably Google it, but I can't be asked for it at this moment. Um, but in Roxham, I think they've got their store spread across four different buildings. Because um, they've got a supermarket there. They've got the DIY building, which, well, self-explanatory, it sells tools, etc. They've got the toy building, and then they've got the main department building, which actually caught fire 1994 I think 
due to a faulty light fitting. I can remember what it was. It was a faulty fluorescent light in the window. Um, I think it was 94. It was either 93 or 94. If I really wanted to, I could search around on Facebook and dig up the photos and find out. And yeah, it was rough. Again, I could do a Google search as well and that would bring it up. I mean, we've had a Roy's store in town for ooh, at least the early 1990s. So, bit of history. Where the Roy's store is in town now used to be the town's cattle market. But uh, obvious, obviously as things changed, the cattle market closed. Not sure when, I believe in the 1970s at some point. And it was the early 1980s that a store called Fine Fair Supermarket bought the old cattle market, demolished what was there and built the current building. Um, was it the early 80s? It might be later than the early 80s, can't think of it. Because I don't know. Damn it, it was Fine Fair, then it became another supermarket. And for the life of me, I cannot remember. The fine, you can still see the outline of the old Fine Fair label as well. <laughs> Uh, uh, what was the other one? No, I can't remember. But, uh... Oh, fucking great big spider in the corner of my lounge. Oh, well. Yeah, and then Roy's took it over. Something like that. I can't remember exactly. I know Roy's took it over from a supermarket, but the supermarket wasn't actually there for long for some reason. <clears throat> Keep thinking the other one began with a G, but I don't think it is. I think it's just my mind playing tricks. But yeah, we've had a Roy's in town ever since. I like the store. Don't get me wrong. I do like the store, but the prices for some I don't know why they whether it was to you know cover the costs of the refurbishment I don't know but I don't mind a little price increase here and there but some of their prices they really did hike up like clothes speaking of I finally found myself a pair of jeans in the arthritis research um, charity shop. They look like a fairly good pair as well. It's only three pounds something for the pair. Three seventy-five. That was the price. I've only been looking for about three months for some replacement jeans, but I am not paying like thirty quid for a pair of fucking jeans. Is what they are in Roy's. I think they're actually cheaper in Sainsbury's, but still. Reuse warehouse. Just got to type in something on. So what they like Oh hello Four comments. My junk shop is expanding or well, my favourite junk shop I should say. They're um sort of well I've Called it a reuse. That's all right. Then I'm going to like that page. I don't know what I had to make a new page. Unless Facebook has been stupid and won't let them change the name because they can get like that.
Do 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 do. Oh, thought I've been rambling on for 15 minutes. It's actually felt ages. Or at least a lot longer than 15 minutes. Uh, da, 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 da. over there, you'll see the red light glowing. We haven't had much rain today, it was supposed to rain. Wind has picked up. I may actually clear this floor space in here and uh, set that train up and actually see if it works at least. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It's a shame it's not compatible, not fully compatible with Lego anyway, because uh, could have used it on here, but I do want to get a Lego train for here. And you're probably thinking, how the hell am I going to do that? Easy. <laughs> I'm uh, going to have an elevated railway line. And I may just run it down the back there. Perhaps put like an elevated station up here in the corner next to the hospital so uh, the train would like terminate up this end I'm not sure yet might mean to get an extra bit of room I'll have to take move this hospital down a bit which isn't an issue I can do that not a problem not a problem all right uh, Oh dearie me. <clears throat> it might be cheaper for me if I want to get a Lego train to actually go and buy the track because I don't need a lot of it. And the track I've actually seen isn't that expensive. And I wouldn't actually need that much to go down there. A couple of bends maybe and the rest is all straight because uh, if... I know one thing I could do. Which might mean a little bit more rearranging. But I could move this table that way a bit. And, I don't know, put a wooden baton along the wall. And a bit of wood in there. And just have to try and go down the back of these buildings. Well, actually, I don't think I'd have to move this table out. If I just board up that gap <clears throat> I could run a track obviously with some base plates down I could run a track all the way down and round and have an end at the hospital just have an end to end train that can just run up and down that sounds like a plan because I can put the hospital down here. Yeah. Because <laughs> one thing, ever since I was a little boy, the, one of the things I really wanted was a Lego train, but they were, were expensive back then and they are still bloody expensive. Um, especially if you get the modern ones with the you know, the separate controller and the metal tracks like that one's got. Uh, you can actually get flexi track as well, but I'm not sure I want that. I don't think I'll need it. Uh, but yeah, I like that idea. You know, a little line running down the back there. I actually think is that the same width it is it's actually a little bit narrower so I could with some fencing I could actually run this down here 
and perhaps put a normal base plate in here and take this corner out and have the station in this corner. You know, with a road leading up to it. I'd have to relocate the gas station, but I could put the gas station back. So it backs on to the far station, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I could just have that. That's what I could do with it, you see. And then that would run all the way down there. It's a pity I couldn't fill in this gap here, because... But I really need the floor space. It's tempting. Trust me, it is actually extremely tempting to do away with this table. You know, and uh, build another one level in here all the way to the end. And the same width as that gap there. <laughs> I then have to try and go all the way around the outside of it. <clears throat> but if I did that, that's going to put the table out to here. And, uh, yeah, that's not going to leave me much room to uh, do my bikes. But, I suppose, if I kept the bedroom tidy, and actually got rid of some shit in here, like those DVDs that I never watch, for example, uh... I could actually do the bikes in here. Mm. Watch this space. <laughs> right. I'm going to shut the camera down because I want to do a little Lego update vid as well. Turn the light on actually. It's only 7.15 and I've got to put the light on. And of course it keeps clouding over but not doing a lot. Right. So. Thanks a lot for watching. You know, watch this space. This may become a very large Lego room. <clears throat> if I could actually get hold of the wood, I would completely rebuild the table. And put it on casters so I could move it around as well. <laughs> but I do like I may I may actually expand this table, you know, out to there and down, but probably only come up to about here. So I've got that enough room up here for us, you know, to walk around. And I've got the workbench there, so that would make more sense, wouldn't it? As long as I've got enough room up this end. I've got the stereo down here because sometimes the um, radio doesn't work online. It cuts out because <coughs> their player is shit. Decent radio station, shit player. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you when I get back from Mum's tomorrow night. So, bye.